In this video, we're diving deep into a story that could reshape not only Egypt's future, but potentially the future of Africa as well. Ever wondered what it takes to build the largest nuclear power plant on the continent? Or how a project this ambitious could shift global power dynamics? Buckle up, because we're about to take you through the incredible journey of the Eldabar nuclear power plant, a massive, game-changing project with historic significance and groundbreaking potential. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on more amazing stories about Africa's bold innovations and transformations. A step back in time, let's take a brief trip through history. Egypt, a land known for its ancient pyramids, pharaohs, and the majestic Nile, is making a leap into a new era. But this time, it's not a structure of stone or sand that's capturing the world's attention. It's a futuristic powerhouse, one that could place Egypt at the forefront of clean energy on the African continent. Imagine Egypt powering its future with nuclear energy, reducing reliance on fossil fuels, slashing energy costs, and creating a sustainable path forward. This is the promise of the El Dabar nuclear power plant, the largest of its kind in Africa, featuring four advanced nuclear reactors that could redefine energy in the region. So, how did it all start? Egypt recently celebrated a significant milestone with the pouring of the first concrete for Unit 4 of El Daba. Now, that might sound ordinary, but this was no routine construction day. This momentous event was attended virtually by Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Why was Putin involved? Well, this is a partnership between Egypt and Russia, with Russia's state nuclear corporation, Rosatom, playing a major role in bringing this vision to life on Egypt's northern coast near Alexandria. This collaboration has drawn global attention, as Egypt and Russia make history together with this massive endeavor. And that brings us to an interesting question, why nuclear and why now? With global energy prices climbing and the climate crisis demanding urgent action, countries are racing to find cleaner, more reliable energy sources. For Egypt, nuclear energy presents a unique opportunity, a pathway to power its growth sustainably, without the pollution that comes from fossil fuels. What makes El Dabar so unique? Let's talk about the technology behind this plant and why it stands out. El Dabar will feature four generation IA plus VVR1200 reactors, a type of reactor that's among the most advanced in the world. Think of them as the smartphones of nuclear technology, highly efficient, safe, and designed to withstand various challenges. These reactors incorporate advanced safety features, setting a new standard in nuclear energy technology. When the first reactor is scheduled to go live in 2026, Egypt will take a massive leap towards a stable, dependable energy future. But this isn't just about keeping the lights on. Nuclear plants create thousands of jobs, support local businesses, and drive advancements in high-tech industries. By adding four reactors to its grid, Eldabar could boost Egypt's economy, providing jobs for engineers, technicians, and other skilled workers, and sparking growth around the plant. The Egypt-Russia Bond Why partner with Russia? This collaboration between Egypt and Russia isn't just about building a nuclear plant. It's rooted in history and represents a legacy of cooperation. Decades ago, Russia helped Egypt construct the Aswan High Dam, another monumental project that continues to benefit Egypt today. Fast forward to the present, and these two nations are working together again on a project with similar ambitions. Alexei Lekachev, the director general of Rosatom, has even compared El Dabar to the Aswan Dam, calling it a landmark in Egypt-Russia relations. This partnership strengthens Egypt's role in nuclear technology in Africa and gives Russia a foothold to deepen its influence on the continent, supporting Africa's development through shared expertise and resources. Why nuclear power? The benefits of going nuclear. Nuclear power can sound intimidating, right? But in reality, nuclear energy, when managed correctly, is one of the cleanest and most reliable sources of power we have. Unlike coal, oil or gas, nuclear energy doesn't release greenhouse gases, making it a low-carbon energy source that can help reduce climate change. For Egypt, switching to nuclear is more than just an upgrade, it's a necessity. With a rapidly growing population and economy, Egypt's demand for electricity is rising fast. Without an adequate supply of power, the country's development could be held back. But with El Dabar, Egypt can secure a future of reliable electricity, even during peak demands, potentially making power outages a thing of the past. Another advantage. 
Nuclear energy is incredibly stable and efficient. Unlike solar or wind, nuclear plants can operate 24 7 rain or shine, providing a constant power supply. That's exactly what Egypt needs, a reliable energy source to support its industries, businesses, and homes. Building a greener future. Let's talk about the environmental impact. Egypt, like many other countries, is grappling with the effects of climate change, rising temperatures, water shortages, and environmental degradation. By investing in nuclear energy, Egypt is taking a bold step toward reducing its carbon footprint and committing to a cleaner future. Nuclear energy doesn't produce the harmful emissions associated with fossil fuels. El Dabar is expected to save a significant amount of fossil fuels that would otherwise be burned, which means less air pollution and a healthier environment. This move positions Egypt as a leader in clean energy within the region, showing other African nations that it's possible to grow while still caring for the planet. Economic boom. Beyond the environmental benefits, El Dabar could be a big win for Egypt's economy. Think of the job opportunities. The construction phase alone has created thousands of jobs, and once operational, the plant will need skilled workers to keep it running smoothly. Engineers, technicians, security personnel, the list goes on. A stable, reliable power supply also makes Egypt more attractive to investors. Companies look for locations where they can operate without worrying about power cuts, and Eldabar could be the answer for Egypt. This stability could draw new businesses, support local industries, and spur growth in various sectors, all fueled by clean nuclear power. But Eldabar isn't just a big win for Egypt, it's also a landmark moment for Africa. Did you know that Africa currently has only one other commercial nuclear power plant, the Coburg plant in South Africa? Al Dabar shows that Africa is ready to take on ambitious, high-tech projects and lead the way in clean energy solutions. By taking this step, Egypt is setting an example for the continent. This project could inspire other African nations to explore nuclear energy as a solution to their own energy needs. If Egypt can build a successful nuclear plant, why not others? This could be the beginning of a broader trend, with more African countries adopting nuclear technology to power their growth. The Power of International Partnerships Egypt's collaboration with Russia on Al Dabar goes beyond just a power plant. It's a modern example of how international partnerships can drive innovation and progress. And this isn't a one-time project. As Egypt and Russia continue working together, this partnership could only grow stronger, extending into other fields like research and technological innovation. While energy is the focus, this partnership also represents shared goals, mutual respect, and a vision for a prosperous, sustainable future that benefits both nations. What's next for Egypt? When El Dabar's first reactor powers up in 2026, it will mark a new chapter in Egypt's story. This will be a chapter where Egypt has control over its energy destiny and is stepping confidently toward a sustainable, eco-friendly future. And even beyond that, El Dabar could be a catalyst for nuclear energy across Africa. Imagine other countries following Egypt's lead, building their own nuclear plants and bringing clean power to their communities. So, what do you think? Is El Dabar a major step forward for Africa's energy future? Are you curious about the potential of nuclear power on the continent? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. And before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. We got more exciting stories on Africa's innovative projects and transformative journeys coming up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.